Hi there, my name is Mrs Chalice and I'm the Head of Geography at Penrice. There are five teachers in the Geography team. Geography at Penrice is about building an understanding of our sense of place in a changing world. It's about how the landscape changes both naturally and by our own construction. We study the physical environment looking at in detail at areas such as the weather and how it affects people and environments. We look at the coastal environment as we are lucky to live in a coastal location which proves very handy when learning about coastal processes and landforms. For example, you will investigate how the ocean processes shape the coast into the landforms we see around St Austell Bay. Geography also allows us to explore what is happening around the world with issues such as migration, plastic pollution and deforestation. As I said before, we use our local area to help build an understanding of process and change. We also investigate the UK's geography, building students' understanding of landscapes and the changing economy. Other topics you will encounter include rivers, flooding, volcanoes, hurricanes, climate change, ecosystems and development. Not only that, but we also use a range of global case studies such as New Zealand, Haiti, Bangladesh, Mumbai and the Solomon Islands. Geography enables students to develop a wider range of skills from map reading, numeracy and geographical writing to collecting and analysing data in the field. We are lucky to have an outdoor classroom which allows students the space to build models and experience outdoor learning. Classes often use models to help explain process and change. You may experience building an earthquake resistant building and trying it out on our earthquake table. You can also take part in our volcano competition that is judged on the best model or the best explosion. The geography team here at Penrice are passionate about geography and many of our GCSE students go on to study A-level geography. We really hope that you love it as much as we do.